I, I am Aro guys. So for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Aya and I'm a bento mom. I make fun and creative lunch boxes for my daughter Zion. I'm also went to gardening and homemaking. So if these are the things that interest you, please keep on watching. Okay, so it's the middle of the week. Happy Wednesday, guys. So medyo maulan pa rin sa labas. So I heard there is a typhoon. So please stay safe, guys. Okay, so continuing on with our bento creation. So for this week, we're still doing our Halloween theme na bento creations just to keep up with the trend for this month of October na spooky month or Halloween month, all right? So just to recap, ang ginawa natin last Monday is my Kozowski na bento. And then yesterday, Tuesday, we did a black cat bento wherein we created cat from Sanrio. So for today's creation, ang gagawin natin is a very famous na Halloween figure na palaging ginagamit sa mga decorations, of course, pag ganitong buwan. So let's see and check what the ingredients are at kung anong gagawin natin for today. Okay, so for today, guys, we're gonna do a skull bento, which is called the calavera in Spanish. So this is sugar skull normally that they make during the Day of the Dead. It's a Mexican celebration. Kung familiar kayo or kung nanood kayo ng poco, then you would know what a calavera is. So I'll show you the picture of a calavera here, sa side, right? And so I decided to create this one because in the past, I've already done a skeleton na bento. I think because this is a skull, so it's related to skeleton. So I'll show you my old creation here as well. So kinapos sa oras yan, kaya ganyan yung itsura ng skeleton. Like a toy. <laughs> Inis ko lang at nilagay ko sa ibabaw ng corned beef, okay? So I think that was during those times when I was still starting with my bento journey. Do a calavera bento for today, inspired by Coco, okay? So for our ingredients, for the calavera, we have white rice here, of course. Then we have a nori sheets. And for the grin or for the smile, no calavera, the mouth, I have here cabbage. The cabbage, guys, is just the regular green cabbage, which I soaked in a pink food coloring. So you can use red cabbage as well. It's just that yung green or yung smile ng calavera sa coco is color pink. So I decided why not just be resourceful and just try and color the cabbage. So ito yung ginawa ko. So I'm not sure whether it works. So sabay-sabay natin malalaman later. Okay? And then here I have carrots as well. So I'll show you how I cut the carrots. And then another way of being resourceful. So I have cheese little circles here made out of cheese okay so because dun sa calavera in coco meron siyang design na parang dots on top of the eyes and they're blue so i also decided to color the cheese na blue so i'm also not sure how this will come out but we'll see together kung ano mga itsura niya later okay for the cheese ginawa ko lang is i use this toast slices or cheese slices okay the one that you use for sandwiches and then I just cut a portion of it here. And then what I did was I used a straw para create ng small circles. So I created 12 circles out of it. Okay? And then for this naman guys, for the carrots, if you can see here, I have little petals here. Sorry sa kamay ko guys, kasi this is because of this one, the color pink sa ating cabbage. But I thoroughly washed my hands. It's just that kumulay lang talaga yung food color. So, I've got here yung ating petals for the eyes. Yan ito yung itsura niya. Okay. There. Parang teardrop. So, the way I did it was that I cut a slice of the carrot. So, circle siya like this. And then what I did, just to show you, is that I cut it like sa pizza, yung slices. So I cut it first sa half, like this. And then I cut it again into half. So I cut it basically sa eight slices. Parang pag-cut nyo ng pizza. One. Okay, so one. Vertical and then horizontal and then pa-diagonal and then pa-diagonal again. 
So, you will create this. Ganyang shape out. So, parang pizza slice siya. So, what I did, so out of this uh, one slice ng carrot, you will be able to create like eight, like small pizza slices. And then, what you need to do is cut yung edges niya. Parang trim nyo lang yung edge niya. There. Para maging herb siya. Moving on with the rest of our yam box ingredients. Okay. So, for the ulam, I have luncheon meat here. Then, for the dessert, I have uh, choco mocha na cupcake. I have banana for the fruit. Then, for our garnishing, I have, of course, our lettuce. And then, our silicone cups and our bento picks. First, the paring knife and the scissors. Our cling wrap. Of course, we'll be using this lotus paint na yam box for today. Okay, we'll start putting together the calavera. Okay, to start with, we need to mold the rice, of course. So, we'll use this cling wrap. So, I cut a portion of the cling wrap. And then, we're gonna put the rice. So, this is like about uh, almost one cup of rice. Just wrap it. It's a cling wrap. What you want to do is like form a ball first out of it. Ang gagawin natin is shape ng skull, alright? Okay. And then, slowly press it here. Press nyo lang, paunti-unti, until you create ng calavera, ng skull. Okay? So, it will look like this. Then, so, we'll just put it here first, yung ating minold na rice. Para makapatong siya sa cling wrap. Ilagay natin yung grain ng calavera using these strips ng ating cabbage. Right? So, we just need one long strip for the grain. And then, we need like about five na short strips over lap. Okay? I'll show you how to do it. Okay? So, for the grain, grain or smile ng calavera or mouth, we're going to be using this again. So, I just chose one long strip. Let's just make it work. Okay? Like that. Then, yung small strips, just have to put it on top. Like this. There. So, cut one long strip and then five na shorter strips. Okay? Then, we'll do the eyes. Okay, so I decided to transfer the skull or the calavera here sa yam box. So, I just put a garnish here sa baba, a lettuce, and then I just transfer it over para hindi tayo mahirapan later. Okay? And then, we'll do the eyes. So, for the eyes, not natin na petals. So, just arrange it. So, I'm getting a nori scrap. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, every time I cut, then yung mga leftover na nori, ginagamit ko pa din siya. So, I'm just cutting dalawang circle. So, para mas mabilis na dalawa agad, you fold your nori, fold it, and then tsaka tayo mag-cut ng circle. Okay, so para pagkuha nyo, dalawa na agad yung lalabas. Okay? So, we'll just put this one on top ng ating petals. And yung other one. Okay. It would be more convenient kung meron kayong cabbage, red cabbage, para straight na agad yung paggupit nyo. You don't have to color. So, for the nose, upit lang ako out of... I forgot to show you grape kasi just cut out of skin ng grapes kasi wala tayong color red but normally you can use red bell pepper for this one or skin ng apple or anything red then for the final touch again our cheese slices na kinarve natin out of the straw the easiest or the most convenient way is for you to use sugar dots so 
sugar dots is yung ginagamit na parang candy sprinkles. So, ito yung parang eyebrow. And then, sa other side, so balik ko ka na to eye top. Thank you for watching guys!